Okay, it's just a quick video. I put the top cover on the H450. I just wanted to note really quick that with three standard 120 fans, the top cover will not fit um, seamlessly. Uh, you see that gap there? That's because if you can see it, uh, probably not, but it is hitting on the upper, uh, well, it depends what perspective, uh, right hand side of the frontmost fan. So that is an issue. I mean, it's not a big issue. Um, and it's not, it's hidden, so it's not a big deal. It, you could, or what I'll end up doing is just drumming off that right hand corner so the top. The other side seems fine. Maybe not. You might have to dremel a little off that as well. Um, sucks, but yeah. reason I mention it is because I remember reading one review and he says, you know, I've tested it. Three fans will fit fine. Eh, no, it won't. <laughs> they will not. So, I mean, unless you get a low profile fan, which who the hell wants to do that, right? So, you know, three fans definitely not, not fitting seamlessly definite big gap there smaller gap on the other side i'm not 100 percent sure because uh if it fits seamlessly on the other side because uh right now the computer is facing away from me but definitely with three fans you cannot fit the top cover of the h450 on seamlessly with standard 120 millimeter fans okay so I actually haven't seen any other videos with three fans on it, so this, or anybody who wants information of that nature. Um, so far I have Prime 95 running for, I would say about 15 minutes. The CPU is at 57, 56. Uh, the cores are around 50 to 57 as well. Uh -huh. Not horrible, not horrible, but you know, not the best temperatures either. I've seen other people idle around in the 40s with Prime 95 running, and there's no overclock, so yeah. Uh, again, it's a single red cooling both GPU and CPU, so I don't expect the greatest of temps. Uh, we're going to throw in another 240. If we have the space, we can do some mods, maybe another 360. We'll see what we get. But for right now, I mean, it's better than what I got before, so I'm not complaining at all. I used to get temps into 70 uh, with that old uh, cooling setup. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what it was, <laughs> let's take a look. It was this. And we'll take big water 760 whatever it's technically a liquid cool system but it's has a lot to be desired it's not bad i can't complain um you know it did its job it kept it relatively cool and um you know the pump lasted for years i've had this thing in there for probably three four years now so it's, you know you don't even, they don't even make those anymore oh they do then they shouldn't <laughs> The better all one solutions. All right, that's it for this video. Um, everything seems to be running fine there. The loop is doing well. It's pretty damn quiet as well. You know what I should do? I'm gonna turn the fans up to 100 and see if we can get those temps down, just to see what the hell. Cause now we're at 58 degrees Celsius, 57, 58. So I'm gonna ramp up those fans and see if we can get down one or two degrees. All right. We'll be back.